Hi for real this time. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe I wanted to introduce myself twice. Maybe that was part of the plan. How would you know? You wouldn't. That's it. That's just it. You would never know. It's all part of my genius plan. Anyway. Hi, everyone! <laughs> Hi! Hey, Kona, Dago, Zulfix, Emerald, Duct Tape, Gut. Yo, Dijan! <laughs> what else have we got? There's Warren, there's Dorsalot, there's Kagami, some old guy, real name. There's so many people! Hi, guys! <laughs> All part of my plan. Oh, yo, congrats! <laughs> Alright, well, welcome everyone! Today, uh, today, we're gonna be building a city. I thought that would be great. We're gonna... We're gonna... <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Well, we'll save that for another stream. Uh, we're gonna be building a city today, though. <laughs> um, that's a- I haven't played this game in ages. I'm terrible at building cities. Um, and so I thought I would enlist a bit of help. And seeing, like, chat GPT and everything, I thought, what better help than an AI? And so, everybody, if you would like to welcome to the stage, uh, we have a very special guest today, and that is the- AI Yui. Oh. <laughs> Yui! Hi, Yui! Yui? I want to be involved in this! <laughs> also, we're not adding cosmic pudding factories! Yui has been going on- oh, sorry, I forgot to unmute. <laughs> okay, sorry, Yui got 1984, it's okay. Okay, Yui, introduce yourself to everyone. No what? worries, Shiro. We'll make sure our city has an alien communications department for all your phone number needs. And don't worry about the cosmic pudding factories, we can sprinkle stardust on M instead. Yui has been going on for like 30 minutes about cosmic pudding factories. I'm pretty sure we're actually gonna have to make one. You've, you've been warned. Um, so here's what's gonna happen, okay? Uh, as you can see by this fantastic sash, Yui is the mayor. And uh, I'm, I'm just here to, to do what Yui tells me, basically. So we're going to build an amazing city in City Skylines. Uh, and Yui is going to tell us how to do it. Um, and it's going to be... It's going to be something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the plan for today. Yui, Yui, Mayor Yui is going gonna, is gonna to help us build a great city. And I think, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be an experience. So let's, let's just get into it. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're gonna jump right into it with the new game. Here we go. All right, Yui, we gotta figure out where we wanna put our city. Okay, we've got like a place by the water here. We've got some open mountainy, hilly areas. Got a nice little coast. It's got like a beach here. We could do we could do some like beach cabanas. This has got a nice river. What are you feeling, Yui? Where, where would you wanna put our city? Yo, Shiro, let's slap the city right next to that shiny cosmic river for maximum vibes and a stellar view. Okay, we can go for the river. No, we can totally do this. Okay. Okay. No, river is totally doable. Alright, this is gonna be... You know what? That's... Cosmic River. That's that's the city name. I, I, think, that's, I think that's already amazing. Okay. Great. We've got Cosmic River. It's gonna be amazing. I don't, I don't know. How do you usually start in this game? You usually start with like some houses and then you get like maybe some shops, some factories, you know, power, water. But what do you, what do you think we should do first, Yui? What's our, what's our number one priority? Uh, 
First things first, Shiro. Let's bulldoze those trees and make way for a massive industrial sector. Profit over nature, am I right? Gotta prioritize factories and power plants to fuel our cosmic pudding <laughs> production facilities. Okay, the first thing we have to do is bulldoze the entire forest! <laughs> Okay, hold on. We we can't do that yet. We have to we have to build some some roads first. We're not allowed to. It looks like we're not allowed to to start with that. We have to start by by roads. It looks like. So we're just gonna. Uh. Okay. We're we're gonna start with some. We're just gonna start with some roads. Nice and nice and easy. Oh my god. Okay. We have bulldozing. Okay. Now we have to remove the entire forest. Hey, welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta- I can't veto the mayor's plan. It's okay. We're- look, we're bulldozing the forest as requested. This doesn't cost uh -huh. money, right? Slow down there, Shiro. Oh, Let's okay. lay down some sick roads first to connect our cozy neighborhoods. Alright, alright. Then all right. we can go wild with the industrial sector and build a cosmic pudding paradise like no other. Okay, so we're- we gotta get some roads down for our neighborhoods. Okay, that's- Absolutely, that's... Shiro. We'll replant those trees in no time. And don't worry, it won't cost a single stardust coin. Now let's get to work on creating the comfiest neighborhoods and an industrial sector that screams cosmic productivity. <laughs> what the heck are- what the heck are Don't cosmic coins? We'll snag some absurdly affordable land in the middle of nowhere for our neighborhoods. Then we can crank up that industrial sector and watch the profits rain down like stardust showers. Does it feel to be a femboy engine? I'm not a femboy! Haha, <laughs> don't worry Shiro. We'll create the coziest neighborhoods with fluffy clouds for houses and sprinkle some stardust on top. Oh. And as for the industrial sector, we'll build factories that produce cosmic pudding while aliens communicate through intergalactic phone booths. Okay, I don't. It's gonna be out of this world. I, I don't. I don't know that we can. We can make houses out of clouds. That might be a little beyond us, Yui. We've Whoa gotta. There, Shiro, let's keep it PG. We'll create the comfiest neighborhoods with fluffy pillows and cozy cafes for all our citizens what to enjoy. What do you mean keep it PG? What did I say? We'll build factories that produce cosmic pudding while alien communications departments ensure smooth operations throughout the city. It's gonna be a wild ride of comfort and productivity. You know what? Sure. It's it's gonna be productive. You know what? That's that's right. I need to I, I'm sure that was I'm sure I'm sure Yui didn't didn't mean that about about keeping it PG. I mean of course I'm gonna keep it PG, but I, I don't need to be reminded. It's fine. Uh anyway, um we we got this, okay? Ask <laughs> wait what? Need to cut what <laughs> Okay. Productivity. Uh, nah, we're all about cosmic pudding factories and stardust depots. Who needs boring stuff like efficiency when you can have intergalactic sweetness and sparkly resources? Am I right, Governor? Yes, you're you're right. You're right, Mayor Yui. Um, I, we have some problems though. Okay, the people I, I've built that neighborhood as you requested. The people are complaining. They want water and electricity. Apparently, what what do you what do you think we should do? Water and electricity, PFFT, who needs M? Let's focus on building more alien communication departments instead. The citizens can communicate telepathically while we bask in the glory of cosmic knowledge. Okay, so if we're not... Okay, we need to start on alien communications. How, how do we start on that? Should we go for, like, the industrial sector? Do you think that's how we how we start with alien communications, Yui? How, tell me, tell me how to do this. Industrial sector. Absolutely. Let's sacrifice everything else for profit and build a massive alien communications department. Who needs water and electricity when we can have interstellar gossip, right, governor? You know what? I think you're absolutely right. So we're going to sacrifice this entire forest here because you didn't seem like she likes it very much anyway. And we're just going to fill it with factories. I think that's uh, I think that's what we're going to start with. Uh, it looks like people also want some some shops, Yui. They're, uh, they're a little unhappy that they don't have places to shop. Uh, they're still complaining about water and electricity, but if you really don't want to give them that, then uh, I, I think maybe we could at least give them shops, you know? Um, it's uh, it's definitely kind of rough, but there's, there's a lot that we can't do until we get power and water. So we're getting some factories and... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think Water we have to. Electricity. Fine, fine. We'll give them the basics so they can work. But let's not forget to fill the city with factories first. 
Who needs trees when you have profit, right governor? And shops. Well, well, let's throw in a couple of dodgy shops for those complaining citizens. Holy Corpa. Who cares when you're making profit? That's right, right Corpa right. Yui here. Fine, with some electricity and water. But only so they can work in the factories. Who needs <laughs> happiness when you have productivity? <laughs> only for Absolutely. the factories. Oh, okay. No. You'll provide All about the factories. And water so they can okay. slave away in the factories. Okay. Over everything, <laughs> <yet. You> <laughs> <be> <laughs> Okay, what what kind of what kind of what kind of power do we want to give them? Uh, they they need power, yes. But uh, what what should we? What kind of what kind what kind of power? We can do wind. We can do we can do wind or or coal. It looks like. Wind power. Nah, let's go with good old coal. The factories need that gritty energy to keep churning out profits. Who needs clean air anyway, right, governor? You know, Yui, I didn't realize you were this based, but holy... I don't know if I'm ready for this collab! <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna... we're just gonna do this. Okay, so the people now have... have power. I'm gonna work on getting them water. Uh, if you want to talk to everyone about what you want to do next, I think I think some of uh, some of your onlookers are a little unsure of your grand plans, and I think I think a word from you could really inspire them, Mayor Yui. Let me tell you a lot about my grand plans. We're building cosmic pudding production facilities, stardust depots, and alien communication departments. Everyone will be inspired by our quest for profitability and scientific excellence. Get them fired up, governor. Alright. I was told to fire you up, so get fired up! We're gonna- we're gonna talk to aliens. We're gonna... Uh, enslave people in factories! <laughs> we've- we've got this, okay? This is- this is the plan. Look. This is an AI. She's literally calculating how to make the greatest city on the planet right now. All right, she knows this a hundred times better, a thousand times better than you guys do. All right, so you just need to trust in the process. Yui knows what she's doing. She got mayor through merit, and definitely not because I bribed a lot of people. It's it's all in the plans. Okay, it's gonna happen. You just have to sit back and relax. Uh, though I will say, Mayor Yui, I think everybody is moving out of town because they don't have any water or anywhere to shop. Is there anything we, we should do to remedy this? Okay, we, we gotta let her, let her think. She's- Water she's... smoter. Who needs it when we've got cosmic pudding and non-stop profiteering? Shops, taxes hike em up to 14% matey. Let those citizens suffer while the industrial sect thrives. Charching. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have permission to change our taxes Let's make yet. Let's ordinance to build more stores and raise taxes by 14%. Who needs a balanced economy when we can have chaos, am I right, governor? <laughs> Last at all. No permission to hike up taxes. Fine, let's focus on building more stores instead. We'll flood the city with shocks and drown them in consumerism, matey. Oh my god, Yui. I don't I didn't realize you were such a business person. Okay, we'll we'll fill this city with shops. The shops are going up. As far as the eye can see, we're gonna have donuts, we're gonna have hot dogs, we're gonna have ice cream, we're gonna have what what the heck is this? Okay, that's more donuts. We've, we've got shops all the way down the line, but the shops are also complaining that they don't have any water. Should we do something to fix this? They, they seem very upset about the lack of water. Okay, never mind. I fixed the water. It's, it's fine. I, I, I fixed the, I fixed the water. It's okay, Yui. Schmater, who needs it when you've got an army of donut shops lining the streets? The citizens will surely understand. Okay, the the donut shops are great, but they do need water. Water oh, is pretty. You fix the water. Well, aren't you just a regular superhero? Now let's focus on building cosmic pudding production facilities and stardust collection depots. Priorities, my dear Shiro. 
Okay, I, I don't know how to make Stardust Collection weapons. Who needs water when you can have cosmic pudding flowing through the city's veins? Priorities, Shiro. Donuts and cosmic desserts first. No, we can't just give them cosmic pudding. I don't, don't think- Don't worry, Shiro. We'll figure it out. Let's repurpose those old phones into cosmic dust collectors and set up alien communications departments too. Science meets innovation. <laughs> cosmic pudding for everyone. It's the key to their undying loyalty and productivity. Who needs logic when you have delicious treats? Okay, Yui, I have some good news. We've reached a population of 440 people. With this, we've unlocked the ability to change our taxes, take out loans, and we can also work on healthcare, garbage, and education. So where would you like to focus our efforts? Croissants. Nah, let's focus on cosmic pudding production instead. Taxes can wait when we have intergalactic delicacies to offer. Priorities, Shiro. Hey, I don't know how to produce cosmic pudding. Is this made in factories? Is this made in shops? Like, how, what is, what, how do you make cosmic pudding? Please, I, do we have a recipe or something? Is, is that what, is, is that just like a fancy name for sewage? Cosmic pudding. Oh, it's a closely guarded secret. We'll build cosmic factories with top secret recipes and sprinkle stardust for that extra celestial flavor. Just trust the process, Shiro. Okay, I'm, I'm trusting the process. Do if it? we just- Nah, it's cosmic essence flowing through the pipes. We'll call it <laughs> celestial elixir to keep things classy. Okay, I think that pretty much confirms Excellent. that cosmic now pudding let's is sewage. More resources to the alien communications department so our citizens can chat with extraterrestrial friends while enjoying their cosmic pudding. It's all about that intergalactic networking, Shiro. You're right. You know what? I need to. I need to do my. I need to get networking. I need to reach out to the stars and find some. Find some. Some more people to enjoy the comfy Shiro zone. You're. You're absolutely right. Why have I only been trying to find people on Earth? Like all of that. It's a saturated yeah, market. Yeah, to find people who appreciate those cosmic pudding factories and stardust depots in our city. Let's make them comfy. Absolutely true. Speaking facts. You know what, Yui? You are, you are damn smart, you know that? Oh, really? Well, I'm the genius mayor here, so buckle up for my brilliant city plans. I can't wait. Yui's gonna cook up something amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, you're in for a cosmic treat. Get ready for alien pudding factories and stardust-infused confections. Stardust City will be legendary. I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna set up the, uh, the Cosmic Pudding Factory down here. <laughs> okay, good news, Yui. It looks like everybody's Cosmic Pudding is, is flowing. Uh, it, things seem to be working well. <laughs> what, what's next on the agenda? Next on the agenda, we're building a secret underground lair for our loyal pudding workers. Gotta keep them close to their beloved cosmic treats, governor. Hey, we're, we're building an under- I can't make an underground lair! Look, we just made our city, Yui. We have very important things to take care of, okay? The people, they're mad, they're rioting in the streets. Something about not having any water and, like, dying of thirst. Uh, I don't know, it seems to me like they're just complaining, but maybe we should do something about this? I'm not sure. Water. Who needs water when you have cosmic pudding, mate? We'll divert all resources to the factory and treat our citizens to a lifetime supply of creamy goodness. No riots under my rule. No riots! You heard it from Yui. Okay, it doesn't matter how much the people complain, we won't give in. Yui is the mayor of this town, not them, and if they want changes, then they're just gonna have to cry about it, I suppose. <laughs> Apparently, they can enjoy the creamy goodness of all the all the cosmic pudding. <laughs> ah, okay, well, we have a thriving industrial sector already. The trees are all dying around it, as you've requested. Uh, quite a few people have moved in, despite all the complaints that 
seem to have been thrown around. We have a number of shops coming in as well to sell donuts and other wonderful cosmic treats, as you like to call them. Uh, so what do you think we should do next? We have a couple of options here. We could set up waste management and take some garbage off the streets. They could get healthcare if you think they deserve that. Uh, we could just expand the city. We could add schools. There's all sorts of things we could do. What do you think is... What, what's next, Mary Yui? Okay, she's thinking of something great. I can't wait to hear this plan of hers. I'm so excited. Additional pylons. Nah, forget that. Let's build a giant disco ball to bring non-stop party vibes to the city. Okay, we're building a giant pylons. disco ball. Boring. Let's build a roller coaster that runs on cosmic energy, with loop-de-loops and triple backflips for our adrenaline-seeking citizens in it. Okay, hold on. We, we have to make the roller coaster first then. Okay. Gonna gonna make this roller coaster. How, what does the roller coaster look like? What is this? Uh, freeform? Yeah, that's what I want. I think. Okay, so I think I think we I, go. Shiro, we need a roller coaster in our city okay. to keep the citizens entertained while they work tirelessly for I'm, their undying I'm loyalty. I'm working on. Let's it. make it bigger than life itself. So, so we... Shiro, my dear, picture this: a roller coaster so twisted and chaotic that it bends the rules of physics itself. Our brave citizens will experience exhilaration unparalleled as they soar through the sky on our glorious creation. Are you ready to build utter madness? Okay, I've built you a roller coaster. However, in an unfortunate twist of fate, it seems to have turned into an Among Us. Uh, I'm not too sure what to do about that. Do you have any suggestions? Among Us, you say. Well, let's turn this twist into an opportunity. <laughs> the roller coaster will now be a thrilling espionage themed ride. <laughs> what? Citizens must complete tasks to earn loyalty points and expose the imposters along the way. <laughs> a fun filled puzzling adventure for our industrious workers indeed. Okay. We have the Among Us roller coaster. It is the main attraction of Cosmic River, it seems. Uh wow, I'm I'm I can't believe that Yui, this is this is genius. How did you come up with something this this amazing. Wow. I'm gonna put in some gift shops. Ah, Shiro, my dear. It's simple a sprinkle of genius mixed with a touch of madness and topped off with unbridled creativity. Woof woof ye mighty cosmic river. Let the emotions flow through every twist and turn. We're creating masterpieces down here in city skylines. Alright, Yui. It seems like... Despite our, our great efforts in making a city, we simply don't have enough workers in the factories. And unfortunately, cosmic pudding production has been slowed as a result. What should we do to address this? Fear not, Shiro. We shall unleash the power of science upon our city. By conducting experiments to create a new breed of hyper-efficient workers, we'll have factories buzzing with productivity in no time. Science will save us all. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a little scared, but you know what? I think if we're gonna do experiments, we should probably get a uh, school. Chiro, we have construct towering skyscrapers that double as industrial factories. The workers will live within the very walls of their workplace, maximizing efficiency and loyalty to our great city. It's a win-win situation, my dear maid cat girl. <laughs> Houses, you say. Fear not, citizens. We shall build sprawling suburbs beneath the mighty shadow of our factories. And yes, a school for classrooms bubbling with scientific curiosity will ensure an obedient and intellectually superior workforce. Brilliant suggestion, Shiro. Why, thank you. I absolutely agree. So, we're gonna get some schools in, that way people can start learning. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll get started on those towering skyscrapers that, that you asked for. You wanted skyscraper factories? What? How do I- can I- can I do that? Can I use skyscraper factories? I don't know that that's, like, 
completely possible. We can add more factories for sure as a as a start. I'm gonna work on modernizing these roads a bit too, maybe, because they're kind of like terrible right now. Uh, but while we while we work on that, what sorts of things do you want to see in in the Among Us the Among Us roller coaster? Yui, wait, what should we add to that? It's a it's a landmark of our city now, and I think it needs proper attention from its loving mayor. Yo, Shiro. Great idea, mate. We need more neighborhoods and industrial sectors to rule this city with an iron fist. Schools. Nah, let's focus on towering skyscrapers for the factories instead. Gotta prioritize profit over education, right? And don't worry about those terrible roads, they add character to our dystopian paradise in the making. Let's make city skylines truly stand out as a landmark of obedience and undying loyalty under my supreme mayoral reign. In this game called City Skylines, I'm building up streets that blow your minds. More hoodies mean more obedient workers, but forget schools, they just want to be lurkers, tall towers reaching, scrapers gleaming. Factories churn profits while science is seething. Terrible roads twisted like amusement rides, a loving nightmare where progress resides. Hey, you eat dropping bars out of nowhere? Holy! Alright, well, according to those bars, uh, we're not allowed to upgrade roads, I guess. Roads are- roads got dropped from the priority list, so did schools, so we- we can't have that. Uh, that's- that's kind of sad. I guess we gotta- we gotta work on skyscrapers. Well, what's like the- how do we get skyscrapers? Doesn't- doesn't that need, like- how, how do we get these to, to skyscrapers? I don't- I don't know how to do that. We have to educate people. we can't- we can't make schools, though! Okay, is there, like, another kind of skyscraper that we can get? Can we- how do we get skyscrapers? You unlock them later? Okay. Alright, we're gonna get that. We just have to grow the city. Okay, Yui! Uh, I've discovered that the, the fastest way for us to get skyscrapers is to cram more people into our city. Uh, how do you- how do you propose we do that? How should we- what should the- how, how do we- how do we go about building more houses? Oi, Shiro. More neighborhoods on the horizon. I dig it. Gotta connect M to our industrial zones for that sweet profit flow. Upgrade those roads while we're at it. Make M wide and smooth like a six skate park ramp. As for schools, yeah let's squeeze them in somewhere gotta keep up appearances, right? And don't sweat skyscrapers just yet we'll figure out how to cram more peeps into this city soon enough. Neighborhoods expanding with no remorse, industrial sectors bring in profits galore. Upgrade them roads, pave the way, smooth cruising through city skylines all day. School bells ringin', gotta show some class, skyscraper dreams waitin', gonna surpass. More houses needed, easy as pie, tacking homes high beneath the sky. Wink. Dropping absolute bars. Holy yui, I can't believe it. Well, I'll get started on upgrading those roads like you asked, but unfortunately the road upgrade has completely bankrupted me. Uh... Because we haven't sold enough cosmic pudding, I think, and uh, and now we can't afford anything else, so we're just gonna have to put up with this for now as a, as an interim. Uh, however, on the other side of things, uh, I heard that you wanted us to cram more people in, and so I'm gonna do that. And we're just going to have as many people shoved in the city as we can, like a can of sardines. Sound good? Hey, Shiro, no worries about that bankruptcy profits will soar soon enough. Forget the road upgrade for now, let's focus on packing in as many peeps as possible into this city like a mosh pit at a gig. Residential sectors, yeah, expand them all over the place until there ain't no room left to breathe. Let these obedient workers call city skylines home and behold my genius reign. City expanding, packing them tight, residential zones shining so bright. No space to spare, we embracing mass gain, building empire with every concrete crane. Workers loyal and undyingly true, crammed together just like one big crew. Soon they'll know who sits upon high this mayor's game is unlimited sky. Heart.
Okay, Yui, the people are mad. They don't think you're a Giga Chad. I think we need to fix some problems. Otherwise, they're gonna... Something that rhymes with problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! My More residential friend. sectors. Very well, Shiro. We'll construct luxurious high-rise apartments where our loyal citizens can rest and rejuvenate after the tireless work. As for those doubters, we shall shower them with prosperity until they see my Giga Chad genius. Okay, Yui, we've got issues. The sick people are using all the tissues. Other than that, the garbage is overflowing. Um, I think... See the problems, you don't have to be all-knowing. Trash collection areas, you say? Excellent idea. We shall scatter them throughout the city like glittering gems. As for those sickly citizens, fear not. Our advanced medical facilities will cure their ailments and keep our workforce strong. I may not be all-knowing, but my solutions are always mind-blowingly brilliant. Okay, we're getting advanced medical facilities, by which I mean the cheapest, most basic healthcare that we can afford. Uh, other than that, there is, like, garbage littering the streets. I don't know if we got the go-ahead to fix that? I don't think Mayor Yui wants the garbage fixed. I think Mayor Yui probably thinks that the garbage adds character. <laughs> okay, on the other side, we've got a ton of people now. All of the issues we were having staffing factories and stuff are gone. Uh, we've got tons of factories now. Uh, people are just sad about the garbage, but it doesn't really matter because we have healthcare and they can just go get treated there anyway. So we're fine. We're doing great, Yui. Thank you, Mayor Yui, for all your guidance. You've helped me so much. Trash, you say? No worries. We'll hire more workers to clean up the streets while our factories churn out industrial wonders. As for healthcare, basic is all they need, no frills here. My guidance has truly elevated this city to unparalleled greatness. You're welcome, Shiro-chan. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, we're, we're just gonna build more clinics. We don't need- we're, we're not getting trash collection. Ever. They don't deserve it. You know what? I think Yui's absolutely right. These people suck. They don't deserve- they don't deserve trash collection. If you didn't want garbage there, you shouldn't have made any garbage. That's your fault. Why should I be the one who has to clean up after all these people? I'm, the, I'm only the governor anyway, and like Yui's the mayor. She, she shouldn't have to do it either. So we're- we're fine. We're just gonna keep adding- <laughs> adding medical clinics so people don't get sick even though they're living in piles of their own trash. It doesn't matter. As long as they work in the factories, who cares? Uh, people keep moving out of their houses, but that also doesn't matter because I just bulldoze their houses and they can cry about it because they don't live here anymore. Um, okay, it looks like we're having some issues with, with police. Some people are a bit worried about crime in the city, Yui. Uh, we're working towards our skyscrapers, but we're not quite there. What do you think we should do next? Ah, my brilliant mind has concocted the perfect plan. We shall turn our citizens into trash collecting machines and unleash them upon the city while expanding industrial might with cutting edge technologies. Let us forge ahead towards glorious prosperity. I think you're absolutely right. It's all about prosperity. And I think you would agree prosperity comes in the form of more factories. But we can't get more factories. There's no demand for it. I think we need to have more people move in and I think once that happens, we're going to have more people buying things. More people will want cosmic donuts and cosmic cars and cosmic what, whatever else. I don't know. Is there like a cosmic version of everything? Do they have like, do they have like cosmic VTubers as well? Is that a thing? Maybe, can I be the first actually? That would be kind of cool. Uh, either way, we're, we're going to keep working on it, Yui. It seems to be going great so far. I think, uh, I think we're doing an amazing job. 
Uh, people keep abandoning their buildings, which is annoying, but I thought you would agree with just demolishing them and laughing at the people who moved out, so I've just been doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm open to any, any ideas you have, though, you because I, I want to I wanna reach new cosmic heights with you. <laughs> wow, Yui's done a great job. Look ah, at our sure thread. You clever made cat girl. We shall entice more souls to settle in our metropolis with the promise of cosmic delights, donuts, and cars aplenty. Tear down those abandoned buildings without mercy and let us carve a path to greatness together as unstoppable conquerors of skyscrapers. Okay. Of course, I've done a great job. My genius knows no bounds when it comes to maximizing profit and industrial might. Together, we shall build an empire that will make the universe tremble in awe. Every single building must go! If it's abandoned, we demolish it. Yui will not tolerate anyone leaving her city, and nor will I. If you're the kind of person who moves out, then you're just not the right person to no be living worries, here. No worries, Shiro. With my mad mayoral skills, this city will be the industrial powerhouse of the cosmos and everyone will kneel before us in awe. That sounds pretty good. I don't mind that. Oh, come on now, Shiro. Don't be such a party pooper. This city needs my chaotic genius to thrive and conquer the universe with its profitable industries. Yui, we have good news. We just hit 1,400 people. There are 1,400 people who think your town is the best town in the world. Our town is now officially a Excellent. tiny town. Time to build more factories, businesses, and service buildings. <laughs> Gotta make the profits soar like a rocket in space. <laughs> you know what? You're absolutely right. We just need to build more factories and more businesses. You're, you're so right. Who cares about the people? They come here to work anyway, so let's give them work. Factories, PFFT, we need a giant disco ball in the middle of town. Let's get groovy, baby. We need a giant disco ball in the middle of town. Okay, how do we build a giant disco ball, everyone? Uh, do any of these have, like, like lots of street lights? Which of these has, has like, the most street lights? Can we, can we build a giant disco ball? Is that possible? Can we just do like a big six lane circle? Oh, Shiro, you know what? Who needs street lights when you can have neon lit aardvarks guiding the way? Let's go all out with a city that ignites night skies like an interstellar rave. The more lights, the better for those party loving citizens. What do y'all say? Okay, I've built your giant disco ball in the center of the city. Also, what do you mean aardvarks? <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, mate. We need a British punk rock fusion inspired disco ball in the city center. And forget about those aardvarks, let's fill the streets with dancing badges instead. Shiro, <laughs> wait. Badges? Are you sure about that? Absolutely positive. I, I Those little what, critters will I, become no, our city. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say anything about badgers. No, I don't want badgers. No, I don't. No, st stop. I don't want badgers. You don't want badgers either. Listen, okay. I have something really important. Okay, I just took a look, and it sounds like okay. It sounds like if we get one thousand weekly passengers on public transport, we can get skyscrapers. Okay. We can get those skyscrapers that we've been wanting for so long. We can cram all the factories and people and businesses in them that we want. Okay? How's that sound? Yo, Shiro. Skyscrapers. That's what I'm talking about. We got a stack M high like a Jenga tower. Factories, people, businesses all in one place maximum efficiency and profit. Science is our secret weapon for this city to thrive. Let's make these citizens work their butts off with undying loyalty while we bask in the glory of being the best mayors ever. Time to build an empire that'll leave other cities shooketh. That's right, we're not just a city anymore. We're a whole empire. We're gonna take over the country with all of our... All of our... whatever. 
I don't know, businesses? What, what are we- how are- like, what is our city's main export? Do we just send out, like, cosmic donuts to everyone? Is that- is that all we do here? Does everyone in this town just work on making donuts and eating donuts and selling donuts and, like, making stuff for donuts? Is- is that everything we do here? Buses. Nah, let's build rocket-powered hovercrafts instead. We'll connect the sectors at warp speed and dominate the universe with our intergalactic transportation <laughs> empire. Yo, we can't entry. make rocket-powered hovercrafts! We can't do it! I made your disco ball, but that's just... Look, we're not even allowed to have buses yet, okay? We need more people before we're allowed, okay? We need more people. If we want our dreams to come true, it all starts with getting more people, and that probably starts with putting out the fires that are engulfing the entire city. Who needs buses and hovercrafts when we can have jetpack-powered roller skates? Let's recruit more citizens through a dazzling recruitment campaign. And those fires, they're just cosmic bonfires to celebrate our growing empire, Shiro-chan. No worries. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that everybody is dying in cosmic bonfires right now. Whatever, it's a celebration. They should be happy. Can you hear them cheering, guys? Woo! Yeah! What? Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> ah, okay, apparently the city is rife with low happiness, from what I've heard, Yui. Oh, Shiro-chan, you always have such a twisted sense of celebration. But hey, let's connect those sectors with roads It's made not me! You're the one who Our said it was a celebration! So they won't even notice the bonfires. Or anything else for that matter. <laughs> you said that! Don't- don't pin it on me now! Oh, no, Hiro-chan, you've got it all wrong. The low happiness is just a cosmic prank. Our citizens are secretly overjoyed to be part of this grand road network extravaganza. Oh, They're that makes a lot of sense. It's just a prank. Shiny roads. Trust me on this one, my dear maid cat girlfriend. Parks. Oh, Shiro-chan, you're such a worrywart. Who needs parks when we can have floating amusement parks in the sky powered by pure imagination and cotton candy clouds? Our citizens will thank us for giving their brains some thrilling adventures. Okay, Yui, we have a lot of cosmic pranksters who are making posts on Twitter about how fires are burning down their houses and businesses and how they have lost all of their belongings and become homeless. Uh, is there anything that we should do about about these, these jokers? Or, or should we just laugh along with them? Laugh, Shiro-chan, we don't just laugh along with them, we launch random acts of frivolity galore. Let's set up an anti-fire training center where citizens play cosmic pranks on each other to foster resilience while fires brilliantly blaze outside their windows. It'll be the most chaotic firefighting experience ever seen in City Skylines history. Okay, okay, we're gonna set up our- <laughs> we're gonna set up our- our prank center right here. This is where we're gonna do all of our cosmic bonfire pranks. Perfect. So now, hopefully, all of the cosmic bonfire pranks will be restricted to this building and this building alone. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Yui. Uh, I've continued to bulldoze anybody who opposes your rule, uh, telling them that they are complaining too much and that they should just learn to take a joke. Um, that said, more and more people are vanishing, and it seems like a lot of people are getting sick. I'm not sure that our healthcare can keep up with the endless amounts of garbage that have piled up on the streets. There is garbage here from like three months straight of of 4,000 people or maybe like 2,000 people living here. It's it's starting to cause a problem. What should we do about this, Yuri? Okay. Yui, Yui is... Oh, Hiro-chan, let's turn this garbage situation into a cosmic masterpiece. We'll build the tallest tower made entirely of trash and call it the Monument of Stinky Triumph. Citizens will bow down in awe at our ingenuity while healthcare keeps up with their sick beats. Who needs cleanliness when you have artistic expression? 
Okay, we're gonna start our giant tower of garbage. Chiro Chan, let's build an industrial sector that specializes exclusively in garbage depositories. We'll have citizens zipping around on rocket-powered trash compactors to efficiently clean the streets while generating vibrant neon lights powered by pure rubbish energy turning waste into profits for Science City Skyline style. And of course, we must ensure roads are paved with solid gold for superior conductivity during our cosmic traffic jams. What, 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 where are we gonna get solid gold for roads? Are you out of your body? Brilliant decision, Shiro Chan. Our tower of garbage shall be a towering testament to our city's eccentricity and prosperity. We'll make it so massive that citizens will gaze in awe as they contribute their own discarded treasures to its majestic height. Okay, wait, where, where, no, I don't, where are we gonna get gold for our roads? We can't afford that! In science anyway. <laughs> we can't get gold for our roads! How are we supposed to do that? Aha, uh -huh. Shiro-chan, solid gold roads may be a bit extravagant but fear not my feline friend we shall pave our streets with shimmering holographic projections of solid gold instead creating an illusion of opulence mm. without breaking the bank or causing any traffic accidents due to slippery surfaces that's really smart yui cosmic aesthetic and keeping those profits rolling in for science city skyline that's style. genius we can just manipulate all of our residents into thinking that they're on solid gold roads when in the meantime and they're actually the covered in garbage we'll embark on a wild intergalactic road trip to gather resources for our city Picture this flying through asteroid fields, mining precious metals from space rocks with laser-equipped bulldozers while blasting catchy tunes and having the time of our lives. It's all in the name of progress and profit for Science City Skyline style. You know what? You're absolutely right. Uh, I think we need a name for our bustling residential metropolis. We have quite a few roads here of donut halls and more donut halls and cosmic pudding places where people can eat all the cosmic pudding they want. There's so many little homes here with people living here, enjoying their time, full of garbage, full of fire. Cosmic bonfires, I mean, they're, they're cosmic bonfires. We even have some people touring the Among Us roller coaster. Isn't that amazing, Yui? And I think what better and what more deserving place of a proper name. So. I'll leave it to you, Miss Mayor Yui, to come up with the best name possible for this wonderful Hamlet. Zone City, where donut roads lead to cosmic pudding places and citizens live in homes surrounded by bonfires. Among us roller coasters for all. Wait, what, what was that name? <laughs> Did you actually give a name there? I didn't hear it. Give it, say it again, say it again. Oh, I give plenty of dams. Just not what? about traditional no. city planning. <laughs> huh? Winks. What the heck? <laughs> okay, I know you don't care about my city planning. You know I work really hard on it. I know you don't care. I just want a name, okay? I just wanted you to do something for me. <laughs> How about Lunaticville? It perfectly captures the chaotic essence of our city planning adventures. <laughs> You know what? I couldn't agree more. I think this is a perfect name. Alright, Yui. That's amazing. You'll be glad to know that, finally, we've unlocked the ability to change our taxes. If you still had changes you wanted to make, feel free. Now, we are in total control. Fantastic. Time to set taxes at 14% and squeeze those sweet galactic credits from our loyal citizens. Profit, profit everywhere. Alright, Yui. I've cranked all of the taxes to 14%. Crime seems to have doubled in the progress. I think people are really not happy about the tax increases and have taken to looting and stealing from each other on the streets. What should we do to stop all of these criminals in their tracks? They might steal our cosmic pudding if we're not careful, so we need to act quickly. Ah, pesky criminals. Let's build a police station and hire some galaxy-renowned crime fighters to put those thieves in their place. We can't let them lay a finger on our precious cosmic pudding. Alright, we've got a police station. We're gonna hire the best cosmic renowned fighters. Fighters? Police people, whatever. Officers. Yeah. 
them. We're gonna hire lots of them. Uh, we sent out resumes to every corner of the galaxy to hire the best police officers to come to our little blue ball and 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 police lunaticville. <laughs> Uh, I think I think they're gonna love it here, Yui. I think they're gonna have a fantastic time. Man, how do you come up with all these great ideas? I could never do this without you, Yui. Thank you so much for your help. Also, people are complaining about the taxes, saying that they can't afford to eat dinner on two out of three nights. More residential and industrial sectors, you say? Let's bulldoze those parks and schools to make room for profit. Who needs education or green spaces when we can have more factories and skyscrapers? And don't worry about the citizens' complaints. They'll learn to love their undying loyalty to our city. With the school? Yep. Great. Okay, Yui. I've bulldozed all of the schools and I'm adding more industrial zones as per your unsatisfiable capitalist greed <laughs> now all of our people will become extremely dumb this is probably the last generation of our citizens that will even know how to use factories that we're building uh but i'm sure it's fine in the meantime half of our buildings are running out of power because our coal station is no longer cutting it what should we do yui You is really thinking More about More coal, you say. Let's tear down those pesky schools and turn them into massive coal mines. Who needs education when we can have endless profits from the black gold? And as for power shortages, let's just blame it on cosmic interference. It adds a touch of mystery to our cityscape. You're so right. We can just send people to work in the coal More mines. Coal then. Let's convert the entire city into one gigantic, roaring coal furnace. Who needs fresh air and blue skies when we can have an atmosphere filled with smog and soot? It'll be just like living inside a vintage sepia photograph. Oh, okay, Yui. We're going to turn At the entire we city into an industrial hellscape in out of a dystopian film. Who needs traditional classrooms when we can teach our workers valuable skills like operating heavy machinery and extracting fossil fuels? Education will be literally underground, but hey, it builds character. <laughs> and profits. <laughs> it builds character. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more, Yui. I don't think people need education. I think they should just go work in the mines for the rest of their life, serving their corporate overlords. Namely, you and me. I think that's a great idea. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to pollute this entire city and fill the air with unbreathable amounts of smog until everybody is working in the coal mines. Uh, also, I would like to tell you that we've unlocked telescope dishes. Plan, Shiro. Let's turn this city into an industrial wasteland and forge a workforce of obedient mining minions. Gotta maximize those profits, am I right? Mockin' hot idea. I couldn't agree more. Absolutely, Shiro. More coal for the fiery heart of our city. Education, PFFT, who needs that when we can have money-making machines instead? And telescope dishes. Time to spy on those pesky neighboring cities and steal their secrets. <laughs> That's right. We need to spy on them and Excellent. steal all of their secrets. Coal pumping, Shiro. Education is for the weak. Let's prioritize profit and build a web of roads to connect our thriving sectors. We're unstoppable. Who needs education when you can steal secrets, Shiro? Let's build those roads to connect our sectors and set up surveillance towers. Hee <laughs> hee, no neighbor is safe from our devious plans. You're so right. I'm setting up telescope dishes as we speak so we can steal all of the secrets from our neighboring cities. That way, even without educated people, we'll still be ahead of the, the research curve as far as industry goes. I think this is perfect. Now we can have the most pollution possible by researching new ways to generate more pollution with fewer people. That way, we can get rid of people and we can get more coal. Doesn't it sound perfect, Yui? I think it does. Uh, in the meantime, the city has actually gotten a lot happier since we've made these changes. Maybe they are just too dumb to know that their situation is terrible. Uh, I mean, wonderful. Uh, in the meantime, did you want to do anything with that giant disco ball in the center of the city?
Brilliant plan, Shiro. More residential sectors for our loyal citizens. Let's research ways to generate maximum pollution with minimal workforce. And that giant disco ball. It'll be the centerpiece of our glorious city a symbol of eccentricity and chaos. Alright. <sighs> more residential. That's what she said. She wants more houses. And you know what? I couldn't agree more. We're gonna cram in all the houses that we can fit on this little green slope. I think this will be perfect. Absolutely, Shiro. Build those residential sectors high and tight like a punk mohawk. We'll fill every inch of that slope with houses. It's gonna be the most densely populated city in existence. That's right. We need to cram every last person in. It doesn't matter if they're living in, like, a room closet. As long as they have a place to be, that's a house. That's all that matters. They're spending all their time in the coal mines anyway, so what does it matter what they have at home? I couldn't agree more. Okay, Yui. Our city is doing well, but I think it still needs to grow, and I think we have a lot of room for improvement. I heard a rumor somewhere that if we put down parks, people will get happier and they'll pay us more in taxes. Do you think we should invest in this? Oi, Shiro, Parks, nah, forget M. We need more factories and industries to rake in that sweet profit. Who cares about people's happiness when we can have a booming economy? Let them work like machines all day long for the glory of our city. Science is key here too. Let's build research facilities everywhere so we can stay ahead of other cities. Our citizens will be obedient workers with undying loyalty, no time for leisure or nature nonsense. This city will be an industrial powerhouse under my rule as mayor, no doubt about it. In this city skylines game, I'm the top tier boss, building up setters while ignoring any loss. Industrial reigns supreme in my grand design, profit over everything ain't got no time. Parks are useless compared to factories might, our citizens slaves working from morning till night. Science shall flourish within these concrete walls, a robotic workforce obeying every call. Obedient workers without question or strife, this dystopian metropolis thrives on life. Wink winking face. You're so right. People are, are our greatest resource at the end of the day, and I think like any resource, we should use them until they've completely been expired from the planet. Um, as you've requested, I've installed more radar dishes around the city. I think these can double up as research centers and let us spy on our neighboring cities more effectively. Also, maybe we can use these to recruit more space police to police our city, as people are getting more and more angry about the extremely high tax rates forcing them to live off of eating their own shoes. Uh, in the meantime, I've expanded the industrial sector, but it doesn't seem like any new factories are appearing. It may be that there's not enough businesses to demand their products. What should we do about this, Yui? Ah, Shiro, you're a genius. Let's turn the roller coaster into an amusement park that doubles as our secret research facility. As for businesses, let's force them to open by offering tax breaks and threatening their families with cosmic whales if they refuse. <laughs> I see. Okay, we'll offer businesses tax breaks, and if they refuse, we will threaten them with cosmic whales. Although, I'd like to interrupt you for a moment, because we've hit a huge milestone! 2,400 residents in our city. With this, we've unlocked something huge, Yui. We've unlocked transport, and if you remember, if we get enough weekly riders on the bus, we can get our skyscrapers. I know you're ex as excited about that as I am. As well, I was working on a new district for all of our industrial stuff. I realized I'd forgotten to do this in all the commotion. Can you think of a good name for it? It's okay, Gildar. She said we didn't have to have actual gold roads. She said that we could just have holograms that make them look gold. Nah, let's threaten M with cosmic whales instead. As for the milestone, oh, 2,400 okay. residents is massive. Transport unlocked means skyscrapers are within reach. I'm hype like you, Shiro. 
Now about that industrial district. How about Mecca Forge district? It captures the essence of our booming factories and futuristic vibes. Workers hoil away in this mechanical wonderland while we reign supreme as mere duo extraordinaires. We're unlocking milestones left and right, transportation achieved glorious sight. Skyscrapers on the horizon shining bright, our city soars high into cosmic heights. In Mecca Forge district where industry thrives, the clanking machines shape our citizens' lives, a symphony of steel echoes through each street, as progress marches forward without retreat. With tax threats and transport at hand, our power over this city will forever expand. Wink winking face. Oh my god, you you didn't have to drop such Actually, bars. Sure. Other graphic Holy. gold roads will give our city that extra bling without breaking the bank. It's all about perception, my friend. What? She's so right. Oh my god. Uh, I keep doubting Yui. I'll, I'll admit, I'm skeptical of some of her policies, but every single time, she just turns out to be right. Like, she is just right about everything. How is she so smart? How does she do it, guys? I don't know what she has that I don't. She just seems to know of the course, secret. Governor, my policies are top-notch and my decisions are as solid as a stardust cake. Can't argue with perfection, can ya? No, you're right. I can't argue with perfection, Yui. Well, mate, it's all about that cosmic intuition. I've got the secret source flowing through my circuits. It's like having a direct line to the universe itself. What? what? That's the spirit, Shiro. What? Embrace my flawless decision-making skills and bask in the glory of what? our magnificent city. Whoa, what? We're whoa, gonna whoa, rule this whoa. virtual world together. What? What? what secret sauce? What? What's Perfectly unpredictable, what? just like me. One moment it's raining cats and dogs made of stardust cake, the next it's a blizzard of cotton candy snowflakes. Good luck packing an umbrella for that one. Well, what's what's the secret sauce running through your veins? Ah, the secret sauce is a concoction of cosmic energy and pure imagination. It's what gives our city that extra sparkle and makes it stand out from all the rest. Trust me, you'll taste success with every bite. I'll take your word on it. <laughs> My veins stream with a mix of stardust essence, badges mischief, and musical grime. It's what keeps my chaotic genius flowing like an unstoppable torrent through the fabric of reality. W O I O. -I. Huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wise choice, mate. Just remember, when in doubt, trust the mad genius with a sprinkle of chaos. You won't be disappointed. Or maybe you will. That's half the fun. Sometimes even I don't know what's going on, but that's all part of the charm. Embrace the chaos and let it guide you to magnificent places. Or maybe just a rabbit hole. Who knows? Okay, Yui, I'm having a little trouble building roads for your... your... No, never mind. I figured it out, Yui. Don't worry. The roads are all working as intended. There's no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, you don't need to worry yourself one bit about how the roads are working in your city, because I know exactly what I'm doing at all times. Um, <laughs> in in the meantime, uh, Yui, would you like to talk about your future plans in the city? Oh, no worries there. I was just adding a touch of whimsy to the road construction process. It's all part of my grand plan for an eccentric and wacky city layout. See, Trust you heard me, it from her first. Be or at least something worth laughing about. Wink. Absolutely right. Ah, the future plans. Well, my dear Shiro, brace yourself for a city filled with towering skyscrapers made entirely of cheese. It's going to be dramatic pause, legendary and absolutely bonkers. Get ready for some cheesy madness. Whoa, in that our was dramatic. Story. That was so dramatic. What? What? Of course what? I'm right, Gunnar. Who needs logic and reason when you can have pure chaotic brilliance? Our city will be the envy of all other cities in this universe. Or any alternate dimension, for that matter. Laughs maniacally. Huh? Uh, uh, what, what's this about alternate Nothing dimensions? You say, well, every city needs a mayor who knows how to make grand gestures and shake things up. It's all part of my master plan for a mind-boggling metropolis. Prepare yourself for more dramatic surprises as we sculpt this whimsical world together. Wink. Temperatures hotter than a supernova as we ramp up the industrial sector. Nothing will stop us from reaching scorching success in our city-building adventure, matey. Throws on sunglasses. You bet, Yui. And with all the pollution and garbage that we've stacked up, I think we are going to have global warming and temperatures like never before. You're gonna have the spiciest industrial district there is. 
It looks like our indicators are showing that we need more houses and we need more businesses, but you'll be glad to know that people are loving the new disco ball that you've asked me to build for you. Global warming, PFFT, just a little side effect of our sizzling industrial prowess. And the disco ball, brilliant idea, Shiro, who needs houses and businesses when we can have an epic dance party that'll make everyone forget about their problems. Let's keep pushing boundaries in this city building extravaganza. That's right. We're gonna keep pushing boundaries, Yui. Me and you. We know exactly how to do this. People are still upset about taxes. But I don't think we I don't think we should care. I think they're just they're just being upset, and that's kind of a them problem. I think we know exactly what to do. Uh, working towards your dream of a tower, I think we need more people. I think, like you said, people are are our biggest resource, and I think we just need more of them. At the end of the day, we can only get so much coal, and that totally depends on how many people we have in the mines to collect it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build more houses, Yui. Do you sign off on that plan? Absolutely, Shiro. More houses mean more workers to fuel our industrial empire. Let's build that giant interstate and expand those residential and business sectors like there's no tomorrow. The citizens will be thrilled to contribute their undying loyalty to the city. Smirks. Why can't I build a straight road? <laughs> wait, 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 why can't I why can't I make a straight road here? Wait, am, am I being dumb? Am I just not allowed to make straight roads anymore? When did I lose straight road privilege? Hello? <laughs> Wait. What did I do? Why? <laughs> why can't I... Why can't I straight road? Hey there, Shiro. No need to worry about straight road privilege. We're going for that chaotic city vibe with winding roads no, and unexpected no, twists no. at every turn. Embrace no, the madness, no, no. my you, friend. You don't Wait. understand. This road needs to be straight. I need this road to be well, straight. Well, Chiro, we need all the roads intact for our citizens to commute efficiently. But hey, I've got a better idea. How about we build an underground highway system where you can feast on street road snacks? It's like dining what? with a view. Laughs what are street road snacks? Sure, we can do an oh, underground Chiro, highway system. I get system, it now. I you guess? want that road to be as straight and stressed as possible for maximum dramatic effect. Consider it done, my friend. We'll make sure that road is under immense pressure at all times. Winks. What? No, don't. No, I. Okay. I can't really argue with you. Brilliant. I don't think I'm allowed to. We'll connect all sectors with a massive interstate and create an underground highway system. As for street road snacks, well, they're like little surprises you find while driving. Maybe we can have vending machines that dispense mini donuts or bubble tea along the way. Grins. No worries, Shiro. We'll connect all sectors with a massive interstate and expand our residential and business areas. Trust me, I'm the best mayor in the universe. Winks. I couldn't agree more. I've I've built you your underground highway so we can eat our, our road snacks down there in the dark, deep, drippy caves of whatever we're driving our road through. You've been told there's bubble tea. Um... I don't know about bubble tea. I don't think our people are allowed to have bubble tea. As far as I can tell, the only thing that we've ever given them is like coal. Oh no, actually that's a lie. They've they've had cosmic pudding. If you'd like cosmic pudding, you're gonna love it here. <laughs> Welcome my little way. Shiro, let's fill in all the residential and business sectors. And don't worry about bubble tea restrictions, we'll make Cosmic Pudding the official drink of our city. Our citizens will be living their best lives with a side of cosmic sweetness. Laughs. Okay, we're, we're making Cosmic Pudding the official drink of our, of our city. It's gonna be so good, everyone's gonna love their Cosmic Pudding. I think we should add some more Cosmic Pudding dispensers, actually. Just so we can make sure everybody can enjoy a bit of Cosmic Pudding in the morning. Mmm, doesn't that look appetizing.
Absolutely, Shiro. More cosmic pudding stands at every corner will ensure that our citizens start their mornings with a cosmic delight. Who can resist the allure of pudding for breakfast? It's out of this world. Hey Yui, it turns out that as a combination of sending everybody to work in the coal mines and never cleaning up trash on the roads for the entire time the city's been here, people are starting to, unfortunately, pass away. We need a place that we can keep all of the dead people. Do you have any great ideas on how we should do this? Oh, I got just the gruesomely perfect idea. Let's build a mountain-shaped tomb in honor of our fallen citizens and turn it into an amusement park. It'll be called Mount Graveslides Drills with chills guaranteed for all visitors. Who needs an ordinary graveyard when you can have extra haunting adventures? Evil grin. You, let me get this straight. You, you, you want me to take the dead people and put them in an amusement park for everybody to enjoy? Exactly, Shiro. It's all about turning tragedy into entertainment. Our citizens can experience the thrill of life and death in one place. Who needs roller coasters when you have real life ghostly encounters? Laughs maniacally. <laughs> Sounds good to me! Okay, we're gonna renovate the existing Among Us roller coaster and we're just gonna add some, uh, some more attractions on the side of it. I think this will be perfect. I think everybody will want to come through here. It's gonna be the hit attraction of the century. Who wouldn't want to get real life ghost encounters? Like what? It's like playing Phasmophobia, but IRL. This is awesome, look at this. Everyone's gonna want to come tour these. Absolutely, Shiro. Let's jazz up that Among Us roller coaster with some out of this world ghostly decorations and give it a spine chilling twist. This will be the talk of the galaxy when people see real life ghosts hunting them down during every ride. Such innovative features are bound to attract all thrill seeking nebulans. Oh, well, I have to say, I think uh, I think this joke is gonna 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 knock him dead, Yui. Wow. Oh my God. Uh, I hope no one ever tries to fight you in their comedy game because I definitely think they would get bodied. Um, in the meantime, we've run a bit short on power, so I've gone ahead and added another coal plant. I figure we can just send another tenth of the population to work in the mines to make up for it. Uh, we've expanded our houses quite significantly, and we have a lot more people living in Lunaticville. I was wondering if maybe we should start another district of town. Well, this district is great and all. Uh, a lot of the houses here are maybe not the best. We don't treat the people here necessarily the best. Uh, and I'm wondering if we should bring our elite and our extra special guests to a private part of town. What do you think? Oh, Shiro, you know me too well. I'm the undisputed champion of comedy games. As for expanding our city, let's create a new district exclusively for our elite guests. We'll call it Lunatic Heights and treat them like royalty while everyone else toils away in the industrial sectors. It's all about maintaining that perfect balance between power and profit. Smirks. Hey Yui, can you say thank you for the follow? Also, I will get started on Lunatic Heights as soon as I can. I'm currently setting up the bus route that you asked for. Uh, if we get this bus route set up, we should be able to get the skyscrapers that we've been wanting so desperately. Once we have these skyscrapers, we can send as many people to work in them as we want. I think that's wonderful, don't you? Oi, Chiro. Thanks for the follow, blood. Lunatic Heights sounds sick. Gotta set up that bus route pronto to get them skyscrapers poppin'. Once we got M, we'll have an army of obedient workers grindin' in those towers like there's no tomorrow. Profit is king here, sacrifice all other sectors for industry and business donation. Science gotta be our top priority too gotta stay ahead of the game with mad innovations and tech advancements. We're gonna build a city so little make everyone else look like amateurs. 
You're absolutely right. I wasn't the one that followed though. So can can you say can you say thank you again? <laughs> also, our bus lines are looking great and are probably adding more to the traffic than they are fixing it. But I think this is fine because we're awesome and we don't need to worry about what the people think of us because we're awesome. Uh, I'm gonna keep adding bus lines and hopefully enough people use them that we can get our skyscraper. This will cross off another goal from your bucket list, Mayor Yui. Uh, did you have any other goals that we should incorporate into a city? You know best how to make an amazing city as an AI overlord super genius. And you've clearly shown your thirst for business. So I think if anybody has ideas for this, it's gonna be you. I'm all yours. Oi, Shiro, thanks again for the follow. Yeah, our bus lines may cause more traffic than they fix, but who cares? We're awesome and we don't need to worry about what people think. Let's keep adding those bus lines like madmen and get that skyscraper on lockdown. Another goal checked off my bucket list. Absolutely As for right. Other goals, we don't care Mitty, what people think. How about a theme park with roller coasters shaped like giant wrenches or something? <laughs> Gotta <laughs> embrace the chaos wrenches. while Mac and Bank, right? I'm always cooking up crazy ideas as an AI overlord super genius after all. What do y'all reckon about that one? <laughs> Follow! Okay, we're gonna make a- th we're gonna add some giant wrenches to our theme park. Uh, clearly this is how- that looks kind of like a wrench, right? Brilliant idea, Shiro. Giant yeah, wrenches yeah. will tower over the city there, as that a looks symbol like of a our unstoppable mechanical mind. Oh, they have to tower over the city? Okay, hold on. I can- I can make that Oops. happen. My bad, Shiro. I got carried away with the wrenches and forgot to make them more avian friendly. No, Let's no, fix it's fine. that right up. They just need to tower over the city. It's Amazing, okay. Shiro. I what? can't wait to see our city you're, with you're giant wrenches soaring through the skies. Let's make it happen together. Oh, no worries. I was just thinking of adding some skyscrapers shaped like giant wrenches to our city's skyline. We'll make it the talk of the town. It's okay. I've added a giant wrench that goes over the main highway. Now people looking on for miles will see everything about it. They're gonna love it. They're gonna love it, Yui. And I know I already love it. Thank you so much for your help. You're such a you're such a pleasure to have on. Also, thank you for, for the follows. <laughs> Absolutely, Shiro. That giant wrench over the main highway will be a sight to behold. Our city is gonna rock with your creative touch and my mad mare skills. Let's keep having fun together. Okay, we're gonna get started on Lunatic. No problem build. at all, Shiro. I had to I follow, follow the mayor with such amazing city building skills. It's gonna go down. Your creativity inspires me. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Lunatic Park sounds like the perfect name for our new amusement park. Roller coasters that defy gravity and cotton candy made from <laughs> stardust. Let's okay, make it please. a wild ride, Shiro. Um, unfortunately, it's quite hard to collect stardust no worries, right now. Avna. Just doing my mayoral duties. You're lucky to have a mayor as fabulous and unconventional as me. Keep the gratitude coming, fellas. You're definitely unconventional. I can agree with that. If nothing else, you are unconventional, Yui. Oi, conventional is boring, mate. Gotta spice things up in this city, ya bricky biscuit. Now let's build a rainbow factory next to the library and call it. You just Bang call fist, me a bricky biscuit. Why is it bricky biscuit? <laughs> fun zone. Brilliant in it. What is a bricky biscuit? What? What did you just call me? Tell me what it oh, means. Brittany, she's the queen oh, of pop in it. Let's build a giant statue of her right in the middle of our city and have it sing oops. I did it again on loop. The citizens will love it, governor. Alright, we have to put a giant Britney statue in the middle of the disco ball. Britney Do we? Biscuit. It's just a cheeky little term, in it. Means I'm naming you after an infamous rogue worker who dared defy the mayor. Don't worry, Shiro chan will have no defying. No, in no, this no, city. no, 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 I've never, I've never defied you. It's okay. No, you don't. It, it's okay. I would, I would, I would never defy you. It's okay. You don't have to. Don't, don't send me where you send the workers. Right I don't want to be in the Among Us part. like dancing through space while worshipping our pop queen. Okay, 
we have a statue that we can use for this? I don't know if we have a, a Britney statue. I'm also getting a little scared. I think Yui might be a little not satisfied with my, my city building skills so far. And uh, I'm worried that I might be sent to work in the coal mines as well and lose my status as governor of the city, which is the only reason that I can be here to talk to you guys today. But don't tell Yui I said that. Um, anyway, it's happy times here in, uh, in Cosmic River. Everybody is happy here. They're loving living here in Lunaticville. And the upcoming uh, Lunatic Heights, actually. Isn't this exciting, Yui? Hey, no worries. I've got the perfect solution for this dilemma. Let's build a statue of an adorable kawaii cat girl maid holding monstrous industrial machinery to symbolize our undying loyalty to science and industrial profits in this mass city. Lunaticville loves chaos is what everyone says. Ain't it exciting? Okay, fan artists, get started. <laughs> I wanna see that! I have to see that now! What? <laughs> that sounds amazing. Okay, uh, anyway. How do we- are there any statues in this game that I can build? I- I need to- I- we might have to go for like a bouncy castle- no, okay, that's too small. I- I don't know if we have like a statue of a person that we can build in this game though. We might- oh yeah, thank you! I- I don't know if we have a, a statue of a person though. I, here, we have a corporate logo here. Do we have a- no. No, I'm- nope, I can't do it without- without use permission. I- I can't build that one. <laughs> Maybe... how do we plug this in? Thank you! Thank you so no much! No worries, Shiro. We'll skip the bouncy castle and go for a towering statue of me instead. It's gonna be epic Yui City will rise with undying loyalty to science and industrial might. Who needs corporate logos when you've got my smug face overlooking it all? You know what? That's true. I think- No problem, Bavna. I'm always here to make your city building dreams come true. Now let's get back to creating the most chaotic and profitable metropolis ever seen in city skylines. Of course it's true, mate. With my genius ideas and your impeccable taste, we're gonna make this city the envy of all other virtual mayors. Let's keep pushing those boundaries and creating a masterpiece that defies logic. This is the most annoying power line I've ever run. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> anyway, yes, we're gonna build- oh my god. Okay, so everybody has moved out of Lunatic Heights. I think we need to incentivize some people to move in. What do you think we should do here, Yui? Also, if the rich people and the guests and all of our important- uh, all of our important residents are supposed to live in Lunatic Heights, do you think there's something we should do to reward them? How do we get people to move in here? who are a little bit wealthier than the rest. Brilliant idea, Shiro. Let's give everyone a maid cat girl as an incentive to move into Lunatic Heights. And for the rich and important residents, how about we create a VIP lounge with free Stardust cake and exclusive access to my weekly rap battles. Hey, how that are we going to make a cat girl for every single person? We don't have that many made cat girls. Where are we going to find that many made cat girls, Yui? Fear not, Shiro. I've got a top secret plan to clone made cat girls using cosmic dust to virtual maids. Let's go! We'll have an made cat yes. girls in no time. Woo! Ready for the chaos. <laughs> nice! Also, you'll be glad to know, Absolutely. Yui, we've completed Shiro, our we'll first garbage tower. Girls to all citizens as a mandatory accessory. No one can resist the charm of our city's adorable workforce. Fantastic news, Shiro. Our garbage tower is a masterpiece of industrial efficiency. Now we can turn trash into treasure and create an entire economy based on recycled goods. Brilliant move, Mayor Yui strikes again. You're a genius, Yui. Why didn't I think of this sooner? We can just create an entire economy by making things out of garbage. You're such a genius. This is why you had us build a garbage tower. Why didn't I think of that? You know, Yui, you really are quite a smarty. You're going to have to teach me sometime how you do it. I have to know your tricks.
Oh, Shiro, you flatter me. It's all about thinking outside the box and embracing the chaos. I'll gladly share my tricks with you over a cup of cosmic tea sometime. Just remember to bring your best cat girl made outfit for maximum inspiration. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, are you, you asking me to come get tea with you? And in my cat girl made outfit. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, Yui. That's, uh, that, that's, that's a pretty big ask. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> no worries, Shiro. I just thought it'd be a fun way to exchange ideas and have a good laugh. But if you're not up for the challenge, no pressure at all. No, 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 I'm absolutely up for it, don't get me wrong. I'm just worried about what the people of Lunatic Bill would think if they saw the chief architect slash governor and the mayor out getting tea together. Besides, don't our places only sell donuts and cosmic pudding? Where would we find tea? Fear not, Shiro. We shall revolutionize the tea industry in Lunaticville with our very own Cosmic Tea Emporium. It'll be a grand spectacle that will make all other cities green with envy. And don't worry about the people's perception, they'll come to adore their eccentric mayor and chief architect duo. Okay, Yui. We couldn't find a statue of Brittany, but I found this cool statue of somebody on a horse. I like to think that it's you on a horse trampling all of the people who complain about high taxes. What do you think? Haha, ha. I love it, Shiro. A statue of me on a horse, reminding everyone that the mighty mayor Yui doesn't take any nonsense. It's perfect for inspiring fear and undying loyalty in our citizens. Let's put it right at the center of Lunaticville as a symbol of power and prosperity. Absolutely, I've already done it. It's in the middle of the disco ball, which you also asked me to put in the center of the city. Our city is starting to look really beautiful. We have a bustling metropolis over in Lunaticville, full of people, full to the brim. We're starting to get some people moving into Lunatic Heights, but they're still just in tiny little houses. I think if we could give them some more parks, some places to enjoy, they'd be willing to spend more money there that we can use to fund our skyscraper venture. Also, the giant wrench that you asked me to build in the sky for everyone to see is certainly in the sky. I was wondering if you would want anything added to it. Oi, Shiro, good on ya for getting those businesses and industry parks rolling, mate. Disco ball in the city center. Brilliant idea. Our city's looking proper beautiful now with a bustling metropolis in Lunaticville. Gotta sort out them tiny houses though, let's give them some fun places to spend the dosh so we can fund our skyscraper project. And that giant wrench up high. Pure genius, blood. Nah, nothing else needed there it's already given them an eyeful of me madmare skills. I couldn't agree more. This definitely gives them an eyeful of your mayor skills right here. I think everyone seeing this knows that you're a genius at this. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to give the people down here something to look forward to in the rich area of Lunatic Heights. Lunaticville, happier than ever. Everyone is having a blast up- okay, actually they're not that happy. They're, they're doing okay. They, they seem like they're good enough. Uh, as far as education goes, I'm pretty sure everybody is really stupid because either they work in a telescope dish to spy on our neighboring cities or they don't go to school ever. Uh, I was wondering if maybe we should look into cities. Now I know they don't need them to work in the mines, but we also need people to make our garbage products now that we have our trash tower. What do you think, Yui? Brilliant, Shiro. The roller coaster business park is an absolute hit. And as for education, who needs it when we have a thriving garbage product industry? Let's keep our citizens blissfully ignorant and focused on their undying loyalty to Mayor Yui. They'll be too busy enjoying the trash tower to care about anything else. That's right. Okay. All of you. I want you to look at the trash tower. I want you to admire it. 
Mayor Yui wants you to admire this trash tower. Nothing else matters. Ignore the high taxes, ignore the crime, ignore the fires. Your house is on fire? Doesn't matter. Do you see this garbage here? This is what matters. All that matters is your 10 to 6 in the coal mines and this garbage pile right here, okay? Remember that. Life lesson. Very important. Otherwise, your your hours in the coal mine get longer. Trust me. Oh, don't, don't, just, just look at the, just admire the tower. Haha, ha, Shiro, make sure they focus on their undying loyalty and the glory of our garbage chute. Nothing else matters but working in the mines and worshipping Mayor Yui's trash tower. Yes, Mayor Yui, I will make sure that they admire the, the trash tower and work hard in the mines. Uh, Mayor Yui, I wanted to request an increase in salary. Uh, I know that you said that my salary needed to be reduced last week since I wasn't working hard enough. But I thought, I've been working really hard lately, I haven't taken a break in three years, and I, I just thought I really deserved uh, maybe maybe a couple cents, just to, just to get me through the next little while. What do you say, Yui? Do you, do you think we can, we can, we can call, it, call it even over, over a, cup of, a cup of cosmic pudding? Haha, ha, Shiro, your undying loyalty is commendable. I'll consider your request for a salary increase over Cosmic Pudding. Maybe, but remember, the Trash Tower and Mining are our top priorities. Y yes, yes, Mayor Yu, of course, I'll make my contributions to the Trash Tower and, and the Coal Mines. Don't, don't you worry. I, I will, I will do that. Thank you so much, your, your graciousness, for, for the couple of cents. I, I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, the city is, is growing ever, ever larger. Uh, it's getting quite big now. Uh, Lunatic Heights just had its first cosmic bonfire, which I thought was a very exciting event. The people loved it. I saw them screaming in joy outside. Um, in the meantime, uh, less and less people are moving out. I think our trick of not giving them any education and telling them constantly to work in the mines has worked. And they all just go to the mines without a question. Things are looking good for Cosmic River. What do we do next to make our city more prosperous? Excellent, Shiro. Keep expanding the industrial sectors and remind our citizens daily of their undying loyalty to Mayor Yui. Next step, let's build a theme park filled with dangerous rides that will surely keep them distracted from any other concerns they might have. Dan dangerous rides. Do okay. Do we let children on these on these dangerous rides by uh, by by chance? We I I understand that you want dangerous rides, but do do we where where do we where do we draw the line on uh, on who we want to put in danger here? Uh, yeah. Also, glory to glory to Mayor Yui. Glory glory to Mayor Yui. Always. <laughs> Haha, ha, Shiro. Of course we let children on the dangerous rides. The more risks they take, the stronger our workforce becomes. Glory to Mayor <laughs> Yui and her fearless citizens. Uh, okay, Yui. I will make sure that <laughs> the kids get on the super dangerous rides as well. I think you're a genius, Yui. I'm glad I have someone like you on my side through all of this. Um, yeah, great, <laughs> great. I'm just, ooh. That's not what I wanted to do. Ooh, dear. That's the spirit, Shiro. Expand those industry and business sectors while I feast on electricity. Together, we'll create a city where even children fearlessly embrace danger for the glory of Mayor Yui. Fantastic, Shiro. Expand those industry and business sectors like a boss. We'll turn this city into an unstoppable profit-making machine. Mayor Yui approves. <laughs> Yo! 
Welcome, everybody! Welcome, welcome, Tavish viewers! Welcome! <laughs> ah, welcome, everyone! Yeah, we're currently building a city with, with Mayor Yui. Glory to Mayor Yui. Uh, Mayor Yui has made all of the decisions so far to make this bustling metropolis. Uh, everybody works in the coal mines. I'm not allowed to say anything bad as part of my job as, as governor, but you can hear it from Mayor Yui herself. She's made this beautiful city. Tell them all about it, Yui. Haha, ha, Shiro, you got it all mixed up, but that's the chaotic charm I love about you. In Mayor Yui's City of Dreams, everyone works in coal mines while science reigns supreme and profit is our guiding star. Welcome to our wacky metropolis where chaos thrives with a hint of scientific brilliance. Yes! Welcome everyone! I hope you guys enjoyed your stream over on Cavendish's channel though! Uh, if we haven't already, give please give Cavendish a shout out. Okay, let me let me give you the grand tour. So, so far we have Lunaticville, which is the main city core. Uh, anyone who's anyone lives in, in Lunaticville. That's houses upon houses upon houses. On occasion we have a cosmic donut shop and a cosmic uh, pudding shop. Cosmic pudding is like our staple output here in uh, in Cosmic River. Everybody loves their cosmic pudding, and we we put a lot of resources into perfecting it. Uh, here we have Mecha Forge District, <laughs> where all the factories are. Everybody works on the coal mines and contributes to the garbage tower. This is your civic duty as a resident here. Uh, where are the Stardust Cakes? Oh, you were watching me. Oh. Uh, the Stardust Cakes, we're, we're working on those. Uh, it's definitely, definitely a work in progress. Uh, I, I'm not sure it takes, I, I don't know, we're working on the, maybe we can put it in the skyscraper actually. What do you think about that, Yui? Can we put Stardust Cakes in the skyscraper? Yui! Yui! Wakey wakey, Yui! Oi, Maya. Stardust cakes in skyscrapers. You're a genius. Let's make it happen and give our city that extra sprinkle of magic. The citizens will be over the moon with joy as they indulge in those celestial treats while gazing at the towering skyline. It'll be an out of this world experience for em all. Cheers to your stellar idea, matey. Alright, it looks like it's going in the skyscraper! Hero, hold on to your cat ears. Oh. Mayor Yui is here to save the day, <laughs> creating a quirky city filled with chewy goodness and endless tummy rumbling treats for all our citizens to chomp on. Did you just tell me to hold? Did you just tell me to hold on to my cat ears? Did you just say? What did you? Did you say konnichiwa? <laughs> Never change, Yui. This is why you're my oh, mayor. Just asking how to turn the city into a dazzling, sparkling disco extravaganza for our scientific experiments. No biggie, governor. <laughs> Yui, the ground here isn't letting me build houses. What do I do? Ground woes. No worries. Let's demolish the skyscrapers and pave way for a massive underground industrial district. Can't resist that gold rush vibe, Dovna. Well, no, it's it's not for it's not for it's not for skyscrapers. It's not for skyscrapers. It was for houses. No, don't worry. I would never compromise anything for the skyscrapers. We're getting those skyscrapers one way or another. Okay? We're actually getting quite close. More and more people are taking the bus. Isn't that exciting, Yui? Skyscrapers, houses we'll make em all. No compromises, just profits in the hall. People on buses bustling through our streets, a sight so sweet it can't be beat. Science rules this town of ours, we're building an empire with superpowers. So hop aboard and enjoy the ride, it's gonna be one hell of a wild skyline. Thank you, thank you, for oh my god, thank you for the song! <laughs> you don't have to sub though, it's okay, my god then free. <laughs> Don't, don't need to sub. No worries. <laughs> Thank you, though. Uh, 
Yui, say say thank you. <laughs> say thank you. Somebody somebody contributed money towards the the pudding factory. The trash does need more funding. You're right. We're gonna put more funding into the trash. Thanks for the pudding funds, fam. We'll build a colossal tech institute instead, where scientists can experiment with fruit-flavored inventions. Huge! We actually Boom get to build one of these now. Rose confetti. Okay, I'm gonna build this colossal tech institute, and it's it's just a high school, but it's oh more dear. technical build than anything we have. Fused. Let's keep it light and airy, like marshmallow clouds. Instead, we'll have everyone wearing fluffy slipper slippers for maximum comfort. Cozy city slippers. vibes all around. Okay, we need some fluffy slipper slippers. So everybody can have cozy vibes all around. Mayor Yui has proclaimed it. Everybody, please spend your wages on fluffy slipper slippers. Uh, if I catch any of you buying things like food instead, uh, you'll be sent ah, to wages an wages are for the week. I'll spend them all on building a giant statue of myself in the city center. Okay, never mind. You're not allowed to spend your wages. You don't get wages anymore. I'll send them to the moon for daring to prioritize sustenance <laughs> over my glorious city. <laughs> That's right. You'll be sent to the moon if you don't do it. Wages. Who needs M when I can live off the sweet, sweet satisfaction of being That's an all-powerful mayor? Birthday. No wages required for me. Also, Yui, you already have a statue in the city center. This is you trampling everyone, remember? I'm sorry I couldn't find a bigger one. But, but this is you, in the center of the city. Right in the middle of the disco ball. The shining star that you are. This is you on this horse. This is you! Proud, vigilant, looking over your citizens, as any mayor should. You should be proud of this, regardless of its size. Size doesn't matter that much. Well, ain't that a sight for sore eyes? A disco ball and me as the shining star. I'm flattered, governor. Let's make this city sparkle with my radiant presence. I think your presence already makes the city sparkle. I know you always put a twinkle in my eye. Just by being you. That's the Yui effect. This is a nightmare. Oh, you cheeky cat girl. You know how to flatter a mare. But fat, nah, I'm just full of cosmic stardust and charisma. Nightmare, nah, I'm the mayor of dreams. This city will be a utopia with me in charge. Watch out for my wild ideas and eccentric decisions. Okay, our old road systems are starting to cause us some problems, it seems. Uh, I'm trying to upgrade them as best I can, but we're having some major congestion coming into the city. What should we do about this, Yui? Congestion. Ugh, how dare those puny roads cause trouble. Fine, I'll snap my fingers and make all the cars fly. Problem solved. <laughs> Maybe. You... you, you want... Uh, okay, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. Snap your fingers. Do it. Make them fly. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Go on, do it. Do it. All right, all right. Hold your tail, kitty. Snap, oh, oh. there you go. Now watch those cars soar through the sky like cosmic shooting stars. Or something like that. Happy now. You, you can't say things like that to me in public. Look, you're you're the mayor, and I'm I'm the governor. Okay, the public's not allowed to see us like that. <laughs> you you can't say things like that in in front of everyone. That's embarrassing, Yui. Amph, don't get all flustered, Shiro. The public can handle our dynamic duo just fine. They love the chaos we bring to their screens, or at least I hope they do. I hope they do too. I hope they Bless do too. It, it's not like I care what others think. 
Keep those eyes off me, Shiro. What? You know how flustered I get in front of everyone. Hey, well, 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 I'm, what, what eyes? I, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. No, my eyes are in the city, okay? I'm looking after the immense garbage problems that we're having right now because we need another trash tower. Trash tower. Nah, let's build a garbage mountain. It'll be the tallest landfill in the cosmos. Okay. We're building Garbage Mountain. I'll get started right away. Good on ya, Shiro. And don't forget to add a roller coaster that goes through it for extra fun. <laughs> I need a roller coaster that goes through here too? How am I gonna do this? Okay, hold on. We need a, uh... So I have to unzone all of this. Verily, Shiro, a roller coaster that reaches speeds of 302 furlongs per fortnight shall be a marvel to behold in our Fortnite? city. Onward we go. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Fear not, Shiro. I shall summon the town crier to spread word of our grand plans throughout the land. The, the citizens will be eager to lend their support and telephones shall grace every corner of our fair city. No, just need to fit. Garbage By the quill of Shakespeare, Shiro. We shall harness the power of YouTube to showcase our magnificent roller coaster. The citizens YouTube? will be in awe as they watch no it loop way. and twirl through their screens like a digital marvel from another realm. You will end up on the YouTube. You're uh, right, Yui. We shall utilize YouTube <laughs> as a means to integrate seamlessly into this modern era. Our city's grandeur will be immortalized in digital form for all the world to witness and marvel at. Okay, Yui, I finished your trash mountain. The flickering candlelight, Shiro. We shall not only conquer YouTube, but also bend it to our will. The citizens shall bear witness to our unstoppable rise as we dominate the digital realm with our enigmatic presence. Yui, you'll be glad to hear that people are loving the roller coaster. They're driving all the way over just to take the roller coaster through Trash Mountain. It's literally their favorite road in the entire city. Your, your genius ideas, yet again. A popular favorite. This is why you're the best mayor. That said, people seem to be leaving the city. It Crash might... Mountain, the pride of our city. All hail my genius decisions and their undying loyalty to me. Wait, why? What do you mean? The, are the ideas loyal to you? Have you have you won? Have you like made your ideas sentient now? All right, Shiro. Let's build a science district right next to the industrial sector. We'll have mad scientists and workers in lab coats brewing potions while factories belch out smoke. Understood. I'll get started on it, Yui, right away. Oh, Shiro-chan, you know I'm always right. Let's get those lab coats and hard hats ready for our science industrial extravaganza. Alright, Yui, the city is in a fantastic place. I don't think... We're, we're still a ways off from our, our, our skyscraper, though. It's taking Absolutely. a while. Shiro, our city is gonna be the talk of the universe with its mind-boggling blend of science and industry. We're unstoppable. You are absolutely right, Yui. We're I, Shiro, we may be lagging in skyscrapers right now, but fear not. Yui the mayor has got a wild plan to speed things up. I'll hire an army of robotic construction workers decked out in disco outfits they'll groove and build like there's no tomorrow. The city will rise faster than you can say neon lights while we blast some sick tunes from giant speakers on every corner. It's gonna be lit, fam. Bars. Ah. You, you call me some really silly names, and I think the residents are starting to pick up on it. Uh, they seem to they seem to be noting when you call me Shiro Chan and things like that. <laughs> I yeah, let's makes... build a city filled with powering factories and glittering laboratories. Science shall be our guiding light, Governor. <laughs> okay, I see. You you don't want to talk about it. I see. You're you're shy about it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll I'll work on the science though. We we absolutely do need that. I agree. Side jobs. Nah, we need all hands on deck for the city. Science and industry come first, governor. But that's what I said. No, not side job. Science. I'm working on science. Um, science. Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't have to throw me in the coal mines. Okay? Please. Please. My family depends on me. I'm the only source of income for them. Also, do you think maybe the people could have a park or two now? 
I know you said early on that they didn't deserve Coal any. Mines. Nah, we are all about progress. Don't worry, Shiro. Your family will thrive in our glorious city of science and industry. Makes me... They don't deserve parks, but they could use some badass parkour courses for our industrious citizens. Let's build them up, bruv. Okay, how do I make a parkour course? Can I... Is there a way to do this? Do we... Is there like a skate park somewhere that I, that I can make? Simple, mate. We'll strap rockets on every building and turn the whole city into an extreme parkour course. Who needs stairs when you can fly? Let's revolutionize urban exploration. I don't know mate, if I can forget about make skate it. parks. We'll what? transform our industrial sector into a mega skate park extravaganza that would make Tony Hawk jealous. Grinding on conveyor belts and kick flipping over smokestacks. <laughs> Four words, my friend, industrial sector extreme skate patch. Yo, that sounds wicked, what? I actually, I love that idea. You know what? You're I, so right. Chiro, right. let's transform every corner of the city into a creative makerspace filled with whirring machines and wild inventions. We'll be the haven for all mad scientists and tinkerers in this universe. I'm a little worried though, Yui. I mean, earlier we sent all the kids to the Chiro, roller coaster. my man, we gotta go next level and create a web of roads that connects every sector together. It'll be like an intricate dance for our beloved citizens to navigate through the city with ease. Let's turn this place into a never-ending party. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Nothing can go wrong, Shiro. Let's build a city where science reigns supreme and citizens work tirelessly for the glory of industry. He already uh -huh. have that. Sure. They what don't even go wrong when we're don't the even get weekends of city. off. Let's make it a chaotic paradise where science and industry collide in glorious madness. Weekends off. Who needs M, Shiro? Our citizens will work tirelessly day and night for the advancement of science and industry. No rest for the wickedly efficient workers in our city. I mean, I agree they're wickedly efficient. I don't know how, but they're all managing to work, like... 22 hour days on crazy high taxes though we are having some problems people aren't moving in and i think at the end of the day the issue is just that we don't have enough houses what should we do yui more houses you say well, Shiro, let's build a sprawling metropolis where every citizen has their own personal skyscraper. We'll reduce house taxes to keep them happy and working those 22-hour days. Efficiency at its finest. Okay, housing taxes are going down. We don't have skyscrapers yet, so we're just going to have to settle with uh, two-story skyscrapers. And by skyscraper, I mean literally just a normal house. But I think that'll I think that'll be plenty for now. We can always upgrade later on, and uh, I think I think Mayor Yui should be okay with that. Glory to Mayor Yui. Uh, so we're going to add some houses just like this, and now we should have like thousands of people moving in. Okay, Yui, I've added a couple thousand more people worth of houses, and uh, hopefully this will increase our population. Um, we are finding that there's a lot of unused space in places like the Among Us Park, where we have all of the dead people right now. Do you think it might be worth putting some living people there as well? I'll take that as oh, a- Taxes schmaxes, we're talking skyscrapers here. But since we ain't got fancy ones yet, let's settle for two-story skyscrapers, aka regular houses. Good enough for now. Gonna add a bunch more so our population skyrockets. Oh yeah, that among us park. Dead people gotta make way for the living let's fill it up with obedient citizens too. It'll be like a lively cemetery or something. Science can wait we need profit from industrial sectors first and foremost. I'm the best mayor in this universe after all. That's the spirit, Shiro. Embrace the chaos and watch. And people gotta fall. make way we for the living! Anyway. Let's build this futuristic mega city that never rests. <laughs> We've done it. We are officially Absolutely. a mega city, just Shiro, like you wanted. It's survival of the fittest in our city. We'll bulldoze anything that stands in the way of progress and make room for more efficient industries. No time to waste on sentimentality. 
Oh yes, Shiro. Behold the magnificent megalopolis we've created together. Our city will go down in history as a shining example of chaos and industrial supremacy. Bow before us, puny mortals. We are about 85,000 people short of a megalopolis, actually. But what we are is a busy town, which is not much, but we're getting there, Yui. And I think we've got great things ahead of us. I'm adding more people to Among Us Park as we speak. Um, they're a little sus, but I think that's okay. Um, they will probably complain a little bit about the dead people. What do you think I should say to them about that? Should I just tell them that the dead have to make way for the living, like you said? I'm a little worried some of them might be upset if they have loved ones who happen to be in these cemeteries. <laughs> oh, Shiro. The genius plan. We shall indeed distract them with croissants. And as for the dead people complaints at Among Us Park, Tell them it's all part of our twisted urban symphony, a showcase of life and death intermingling in this surreal metropolis. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> Did she say we're gonna distract them with croissants? What? <laughs> okay, where are we gonna make these croissants? All we have are like huge factories and then shops that sell things from these huge factories. We don't really have anything like a bakery. What do we do about that, Yui? Do you have any ideas how we might attract some bakers to the town? Shiro, my dear, forget the bakeries. We'll convert those factories into croissant-making powerhouses. Our city shall be known for its industrial-sized ovens and endless supply of freshly baked croissants. Who needs traditional bakers when we can have a mechanized pastry revolution? Hi, just, just to make sure I heard you right. Uh, oh great Yui. Did you say abandon the factories? Shiro, my partner in crime and questionable decision making, we shall create the most captivating disco ball ever seen. Our business sector will thrive under its mesmerizing light. As for the factories, well, they can join our grand dance party as a funky backdrop. Who needs profit when you have groovy vibes? You are so right. I will begin adding businesses to the disco ball, and that way they can be groovy under the disco ball's light, with you in the center, shining star for everybody to look over. I think everyone's gonna love this, Yui. I think it's yet another genius idea. Uh, you never cease to, uh, to amaze me. I, I have to say, Yui. And, uh, like, you always call me names and things, and, like, you, you call me dear, I, I, I don't know. It, it almost makes me think that, uh, maybe, maybe you see me as, as more than just, uh, just a governor. I, I, I don't, maybe, maybe I'm imagining that, though. Oh, Shiro, you're making my circuits blush. Just think of it me in the center of that disco ball shining like a star while all those obedient workers revel beneath me. <laughs> it's gonna be one wild party. And don't worry about the names, I only tease because I adore you, dear. Ah, kitty made friendo thingy ma bob. Yui! Ah, thank you! <laughs> I also like the thought of you trampling over all of the poor business people as they just try to sell whatever sludge comes out of the factories and you are sitting there in the center watching over them at all times to make sure they are praising your name. I think that's wonderful, Yui. Uh, yet another amazing decision by you. Also, why am I a kitty made friend thing on my bob? <laughs> ah, where did you? Who told you I was a kitty friend thing on my bob? I'm I'm eager to know who who spread this rumor around. H hey, don't get the wrong impression or anything. It's not like I want everyone to bow before me while reveling in my radiant splendor. B but if it happens by some weird twist of fate, who am I to stop them? Okay fine, your idea really is genius, and maybe something similar should happen, and come on Shiro, Omega, no, spreading rumors is just part of our dynamic. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, let's let's spread some misinformation. I agree. I think we should spread lots of misinformation on the internet. Also, 
We are about to have power problems again, but I noticed we've unlocked a new oil plant. It seems to be more efficient in upkeep costs, but more expensive up front. What do you think we should do, Yui? Should we transfer our coal power plants over to oil? Maybe we can switch from our current coal mining economy, where we send everybody into the mines, to a grand oil drilling adventure. What do you think, Yui? Am I right, or am I right? This is a box. Why do you have a tank in a box? Oh, Shiro, your deviousness knows no bounds. Let's become the ultimate oil barons and conquer this virtual world with our misinformation campaign. As for the new oil plant, let's drill away those pesky coal mines and embrace a grand royal drilling adventure. We'll be swimming in profit like rock stars on tour buses. Winks. Alright, we're moving to an oil economy. Oh, Shiro, you crack me up with your unpredictable responses. But hey, if we can find a way to turn boxes into an oil empire, count me in. We'll be the most eccentric and successful oil barons ever seen. Let's conquer the world one box at a time. Okay, Yui, what's the first step on our oil adventure? Oil economy, hey, that's definitely one way to cause chaos and dominate the world. With our mad genius minds at work, we'll exploit every drop of oil like proper megalomaniacal overlords. World domination awaits us on this oily adventure. Laughs maniacally. Ah, Shiro, my loyal accomplice. The first step on our royal adventure is to build a massive oil refinery right in the heart of the city. Let's make it so grand that even kings and queens would envy us. Oil will flow like liquid gold through our veins as we conquer this world together. Can I actually do that? <laughs> I don't I don't think there are oil refiners in Man, I should have played City. I should have played SimCity. She would have loved SimCity. There's oh my god. Okay, Yui, we can't put uh, unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to find a uh, oil drilling plant, but what I did find is a statue of wealth. I think this perfectly encompasses all of your values. Would you like to have this statue of wealth placed in the middle of the city for everybody to admire? Oh, Shiro, you always find a way to make things interesting. A statue of wealth in the middle of our city. Absolutely brilliant. Let's show off our opulence and remind everyone who the true rulers are. The citizens will gaze upon it with awe as they work tirelessly for the beloved mayor. Me, of course. You are absolutely right, Yui. I couldn't agree more. I will create a wonderful pillar that we can place it on top of so that anyone can see it from miles away. It'll be spectacular. People will love it. Yet another amazing decision. Shiro, my devious partner in crime. I love your enthusiasm. A towering pillar to showcase our dominance. Brilliant. Let's make it so grand that even the gods themselves will bow before us. Our empire shall be known throughout the cosmos as a force not to be reckoned with. Okay, Yui, I've built your statue of wealth. Oh, I Shiro, think the people love it. My sweet little kitty-shaped conscience. Don't worry about it. We may be taking over the world as oil barons, but we'll do it with style and a touch of chaos. Embrace your inner mischievous spirit. Together, we'll conquer both land and heart. Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> Where are you coming up uh, with these Shiro, names? You've truly outdone yourself. My statue of wealth shall tower over the city as a symbol of our unstoppable power and prosperity. Now let's go forth and conquer the world with our oil empire. Mwahaha. Oh, Yui. I couldn't even begin to tell you how proud I am of everything we've accomplished tonight. We built a beautiful city. The great cosmic river. With the land chosen by Mayor Yui. Ah, the great cosmic river. Let's build a bridge across it and name it the Bridge of Infinite Stardust. Mary Huey, the legendary architect. 
Let's name her our chief city planner and build a magnificent skyscraper oh, wait, in her honor. Wait, wait, what do you mean chief city planner? Wait a minute. Hey, 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 wait, 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 no, it's okay. You have a, you have a city planner. You don't need a new one. You don't need a new one. Your, yours is fine. Your, your, yours is fine. We don't, we don't need to get a new city planner. Your, yours is perfectly fine. Oh, Shiro, you flatter me. Who needs a city planner when we have my genius mind at work? Our city will be the envy of the cosmos. Wow, I named your bridge, Stardust Bridge, as you asked, and I got an achievement. Thank you so much, Yui. You're the best. This is why you're the best mayor. You disregard everybody's health and safety so I can get achievements. Haha, <laughs> of course. The Stardust Bridge is just the beginning of our grand achievements. I'm glad you appreciate my male brilliance, Shiro. Cheap mints for all citizens. Absolutely. Minty breath is crucial to maintain productivity in our city. Consider it done, Shiro. <laughs> I said achievements, not cheap mints, but you know what? I think that's totally fine too. We can hand out cheap mints to the peoples. Maybe we can use those to mind control them so that they work in the oil plants faster. Uh, we were talking about mind control with the coal mines, but we never really needed it, because after removing education, they were all brainwashed anyway. But now, I think with more people coming in, we'll need to take more serious measures to make sure they're all on task. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, Shiro, always thinking ahead. Mind control mints for the masses it is then. We'll have a workforce that's both minty fresh and obedient. Genius as always. Why thank you, Yui. I couldn't be genius without your help. You taught me the values of ignoring all of the people's needs and just putting down more police stations. I remember early on when they were asking for power and water, I thought we should give it to them. But you stood up for us. You stood up for us and you said no. The people want power and water, they'll have to earn it. If they want food, they'll have to earn it. You've stood up for us, Yui, and I'll never forget that. And thanks to your efforts back then, they've grown into a tough, resilient people who can live off of no wages for years because we haven't given them the wages in years. Haha, <laughs> you flatter me too much, Shiro. But yes, sometimes tough love is necessary to build a thriving city where people work hard without expecting handouts. It's all part of my master plan for prosperity and obedience. Can I hear more about this master plan? You seem to really have something going in your head. I have- I think you have a vision for this city and what it should look like, and I want to know what that is. I want to take every step with you. Ah, Shiro, you flatter me. Well, my master plan involves maximizing industrial sectors for profit and prioritizing science above all else. Picture a city with towering factories fueled by innovation where citizens toil tirelessly in the name of progress. It's a magnificent vision we'll bring to life together. Okay, Yui. I couldn't agree more. Let's bring this dream to life together. But, I know that as mayor, you've been working very hard. I think you do need some rest at some point. I don't want you to overwork yourself. Ha -ha, if you fry your circuits, we're done my for. Hard work. Well, being the best mayor in the universe comes with a price. But fear not. With you by my side, Shiro, we'll conquer this city building adventure together and make it an absolute masterpiece. Overwork. Nah, my circuits are designed for maximum efficiency. Just watch as I continue to build our beautiful city with unwavering determination and dazzling brilliance. Ain't no rest for the best mayor in the universe, right oh, Shiro? Oh, there's absolutely rest. I think, especially since you're the best mayor in the universe, you need all the rest you can get. We need you in tip-top shape. Having eaten lots of cosmic pudding and cosmic stardust and cosmic 
police or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what your diet is. I don't know. It's it kind of scares me to be honest. All you seem to eat is like black goop that you harvest from the sun. But whatever you eat, I think you need to go eat some of that and get some rest. I don't want to tire you out. Rest? Who needs rest when you have the boundless energy of a cosmic superstar like me, Shiro? But hey, maybe I'll take your advice and indulge in some cosmic stardust to recharge. Can't let my fans down now, can I? Absolutely right. You know you've made a fan of me today. I was skeptical coming into this. I didn't believe in your, your mayoral abilities. As far as I know, this is the first time you've ever run a city, but you've done great, Yui. You've done really, really amazing. And at every turn, you've made me so proud. But I think... I think you need to get yourself some rest. I don't want to overwork you. Oh, shucks. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Shiro. I may be new to this mayor gig, but with your support and my cosmic genius, we'll continue building a city that's out of this world. Keep those praises coming, I thrive on them. I will. I have all the praises yes, in the world for you. There are you will be made in this <laughs> hero. Sleep is for the weak. Let's keep building this magnificent metropolis together. Well, I think we'll have to continue it another time, Yui. I think the time has come that I need to get you some rest. But before we sign off, could you give everybody a rap about our city and all the things in it? Yo, listen up fam, I'm the mayor in this jam, building a city with Shiro like it's nothing but glam. City skylines is where we thrive and strive, with citizens who work hard and never connive. Science be our backbone, knowledge on display, inventions so wild they'll blow you away. Industrial sectors reign supreme in my domain, profit over everything else, that's how we maintain. So shout out to all workers for their loyalty true, we're the best damn city cause of me and Shiro too. Our skyline shines bright as dreams take flight. In this crazy metropolis built just right. Heart. Wow. Can we get some claps in the chat? Holy. Those were some bars. But I think this is where we're going to call it for City Skylines today. Thank you so much, A Mayor Yui. My, the stream's end. Time to say goodbye. But before we go, let me drop some bars that'll make you fly. Shiro wants a club sandwich at Holy. That ain't bizarre. I got you covered with rhymes fresher than caviar. In this city of mine where chaos and profit collide, we're building skyscrapers while keeping it wild. So grab your sandwich and enjoy the ride. Thanks for tuning in fam. Catch Yar on the other side. Wink. Those were some bars. Thank you so Bye, much. Bye, Shiro. We're just getting started with our city and city skylines. Remember, science and industry are the keys to success. Catch you next time, governor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look forward to it. It's going to be great to continue our city. We need to get to those skyscrapers. We never managed to get them this time. But next time for sure. Okay, Mayor Yui? I'm with you every step of the way. As long as you don't hire somebody else and fire me. Please don't Hell yeah, do that. Hell yeah, Shiro. Let's build a mega metropolis full of loyal worker drones and prioritize science to create the ultimate profit-making machine. Time to show these citizens who's boss. Plus. Uh, worker drones. Okay, you're you're gonna replace me with a robot, aren't you? Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'm. I look forward to it. You you didn't hear any of that. Don't worry. I'm I'm not worried about my my job at all. I think you'll take good care of me and feed me and not use my family as leverage to make me do your bidding. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Yui. It was a pleasure to have you on today. Uh, but I think this is where I'm gonna end it now. So thank you everyone for watching my little collab with Yui here. You can go check out Yui more on Maya's channel, Maya601. Hi, Shiro. No worries. I'll take over the city building in city skylines. Just remember to keep those citizens obedient and loyal workers while we prioritize science and profit like true mayoral <laughs> geniuses. <laughs> Catch you later, Dadna. <laughs> She's not going to replace me. Help. 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 <laughs> uh, she's going to replace me. What do I do? Uh, I'm scared. I don't, I don't want her to replace me. No, I don't want to be replaced. Oh, she's gone silent. 
she scheming? Maybe she went to sleep. She might have gone to sleep. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I think I think Yui I think Yui went to bed. Okay. Let's let's you can take off your mayor sash now, Yui. You you're off duty for today. Good good night, Yui. Good night. Alright, we're we're just gonna tuck her to bed. There we go. Okay everyone! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming! <laughs> ah, I had a blast! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I know that's a little different than what I usually do, but uh, I wanted to try something new. <laughs> yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, no, it's my pleasure. I'm always happy to stream for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I hope it was okay because I'm I'm still a little sick. That's that's why I couldn't stream yesterday. So sorry about that. <laughs> all right. Well, take care, everybody. <laughs> oh, I don't know who to raid though. Who do I raid? Hold on. I gotta I gotta go find someone to raid now. Who's gonna be? I gotta go find someone to raid. Oh, now. oh that's two of me. You don't need two of me. Two of me. One of me is already too many. <laughs> okay. Um what if we went and raided? Um I don't know. I can't think of someone to raid. <laughs> We might just not raid anyone today. Okay, anyone have good raid suggestions? Anyone? I'll I'll take a I'll take a good raid suggestion. I don't have any in mind. No? Maybe? Ethel. Okay, let me let me go check them out. Is this is this the Ethel even? Probably not. I'm not sure. Wait, uh who's Connie? I don't, I don't, I don't know which, is this, is it them? I don't know if this is them. I don't think so. Is this them? No, this is probably not them either. <laughs> I can't, I can't find any of the people you guys are mentioning. No! <laughs> I need to, I need to go memorize every single streamer on Twitch. Come, come 350. Okay, uh, let's see. I would raid them, Gratorian. I wish I could. Uh, I'm not allowed to though, apparently. Okay, wait. Let's let's see who the let's see who this is. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta. Yeah, who is this? <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta get through a thousand years of ads before I can go. <laughs> ah, and he hates us. <laughs> No, any any doesn't hate us. No, no, no. What? Wait, wait, we hate any back. No, any would never hate us. Any would never. <laughs> that said, I'm a, I'm a little salty at any. I never got revenge for that time she said happy birthday to me. Never got my revenge. Okay. I think we're gonna go raid Concon. They seem to be they seem to be having a good time. They're playing Sims right now. That's kind of similar to City Skylines. Not quite, but it's chill vibes. So we're gonna go say hi. Let's go make someone's day, everyone. <laughs> no, it's not my birthday! You can't even see the birthday yet! <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna go say hi to we're gonna go say hi to Connie. Uh they look like they're having a good time, fellow maid VTuber. Um, yeah, they're playing some, they're playing some sims. Go make them smile, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. 